Today on the channel, the year-long plus wait is over as today we unbox Mattel Masters of the Universe Mattel Creations exclusive Attorney of Play set. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Special delivery at the door. Look, it came. Uh oh, we got some dings and dents in the box. A little concerned. Hopefully it's in one piece. I'm not gonna bet the house on it though. Oof, I don't like that corner. Don't like that corner. Oh boy. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for something extra big and extra special, as today we're in the He-Man room, and we're unboxing the Mattel Creation exclusive Attorney of Playset. Talk about a big playset, talk about an all-timer, as we say here on the channel, as Attorney, always known as the grail of the original Masters Universe toy line, and now, many, many years later, the Origins is giving us their very own Eternia, and that's what we're going to unbox here today. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews, kind of, as we're going to take a look at the packaging, we're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it, we're going to talk about it, we're going to see where it goes from there. And as you can see, this is a massive, massive box, 29 inches by 39 inches, a massive playset. It even says on the box, it is the biggest Masters Universe playset of all time as this is bigger than the original Eternia, for those keeping track at home right there. Now, I did unbox King Grayskull on the channel. Check out that video if you did miss it. Did this video separately. He came a couple of days before my Eternia. Might be the same case for you, so check out King Grayskull. We do know Modi is inside here somewhere, including a lot of uh, extra packaging and stuff. And I have stayed away from spoilers on this. You guys know me. I like to do the review with fresh eyes. I don't like to see other people's reviews. I don't even like to really see pictures of it. However, hard to escape pictures of this and what's been going on. And the elephant in the room is from Mattel. Unfortunately, a lot of these are arriving damaged. People having these things broken through as these basically were in a big shipper box, just like we got with Grayskull, just like we got with Snake Mountain, just in a bigger size here. And of course, it did have some cardboard kind of corners to protect the corner a little bit. However, without padding, without a box inside of a box, unfortunately, a lot of people got this damaged. You know, I'm unboxing this. However, this is packaging you don't throw away. You spend $600 plus on something like this, you're keeping everything it comes with. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So when you have tears, dings, rips in the box for something you paid a lot of money for, man, that's a tough day. And, you know, usually we can say, well, they are built for toys. And that's one thing for a $20 retail product. But the majority of people buying this, they're adult collectors. This is a heavy-duty price point. You didn't buy this for little Jimmy for his fifth birthday. just didn't happen that way. So shame on Mattel a little bit for some of the damaging. Obviously, FedEx is a part of this, but FedEx is just carrying it there, getting it to the location. They don't even know what's inside here for the most part. You know what I mean? So a little disappointing. Actually, a lot disappointing. I had a very easy go compared to some. I got a little bit of a ding here, and I got a little bit of a ding in the back, but I've definitely seen a better, few times better, but I've seen a lot worse. So all in all, I got out fairly unscathed compared to some others out there. Uh, and it is what it is, I guess, at this point, because I think Mattel, some people have said, hey, Mattel, can you give me a new one? They said, hey, ship it back. We'll refund your money, but we don't have any extra. So that's a bad day at the office for sure. And I should also talk about, we're in my He-Man collection room. If you guys have seen my uh, room tour videos, you've probably seen this room in the past. However, I'm sitting here at my Eternia table as I have built this big table in anticipation for this day. I am not quite done building this table yet, and I'll probably do a video separate of how this sets up with everything on it and part of the build process. I do have a little table topper coming here, hopefully in the next week or so. So much more to come in this room, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, of course. So I got all the housekeeping out of the way, I think. Now let's dive into this, and the first thing you notice, 
blows you away is the graphics, is the artwork on the packaging. Absolutely next level. We know how they do it with the He-Man line. Always the packaging, the artwork is always next level. And you can just sit here and stare at this forever. You can see the three towers. You can see all the heroes and villains. Some Easter eggs of a guy like Rockon, who's going up for pre-order this Friday on Mattel Creations. Uh, and things like that. The snakes. Uh, you got all kinds of... You got King Grayskull up there uh, defending the central tower. You got Lady Slither and other creations exclusive. Just a lot of craziness stuff. And when you're a kid, you look at something like this, and you just start thinking of the battles and the wars and the epic battles you can have at home. And that's one of the beautiful things here. New for 24 and right up at the top, Adult Collector. So there you go, reinforcing what I said earlier. Attorney of the Ultimate Battleground comes to life. And then moving this around a little bit, as you can imagine, very heavy playset as well. Uh, the, the Ultimate Battleground comes to life, Eternia. Three Titanic Towers connected by a motorized monorail system. Oh, did somebody say monorail? Monorail! Monorail! Uh, three different vehicles. So you get some black and white artwork right there. And then you get the back. I'm trying to turn it here. We'll do some glamour shot pictures as well. But we do say, it does say, for use with your entire Masters Universe Origins collection. And of course, we'll compare that to Masterverse Classics and all the points in between later on in this video. So stay tuned to that as well. Uh, it does say, place Laser Blaster atop Central Tower. Grab unsuspecting intruders with the jaws and claws of the guard lion. Travel around attorney in the sky cage, battle tram, and jetpack fighter. Grayskull Tower prison gate drops automatically. Raise the drawbridge to keep out enemies. Capture invaders in Grayskull's tower's trap door. There you go. And then we get a big read up over here. It says the ultimate battleground comes to life, attorney on eons ago before Castle Grayskull ever existed. Three magnificent and magical towers sank into the depths of ancient Eternia. Grayskull Tower stood for all that was good. Viper Tower belonged to the evil snake men, and through the walls of Central Tower flowed the supercharged energy of both good and evil. Now, through the efforts of Skeletor and King Hiss, the three towers have risen anew. Only King Grayskull can stop their evil efforts, with a little help from Modi. Uh, the battle lines are drawn for legend has it whoever survives the perils of Central Tower shall command all the power in the universe so how about that beautiful artwork once again different look than what we got in the front which i think is really cool there and then you get kind of the same thing on the side over here now the top is definitely different a little bit more colorful a little colorful on the top there i won't go through all this of course but a lot going on on the top there but i am going to try to pull this out i have no idea what's going to happen i did pre-cut this here so we could get into it now, let's see here can i get this out Always dangerous unboxing, of course. It's going to be big. It's going to be bad. Is it going to be nationwide like a young ZZ Top? That's another good question there that I don't know. I don't know the answer to. Can I get this out? Can I get this out? Okay. Hold on. We're learning. We're learning right here, and I'm going to grab my blade. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, it's over here. Oh. Bear with me. We're gonna move it around here. We're gonna cut the flaps on the side. And it looks like this folds open, I think. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that, so it flaps open. Hopefully I don't knock anything over. You never know how that might go. Yikes, yikes. There it is. Make sure you save a lot of room for this when the time comes, but look at this. Holy cow, look at that artwork. Big old poster right here on the top. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely love that. Take a picture of that, of course, in a little bit. And oh, my worst nightmare. Look at all these stickers. Oh my gosh, where is my dad when I need him? We do get a comic book with this and, of course, a big instruction booklet. Wouldn't think anything different there. You're going to need all that kind of stuff. Now we do get a cardboard piece in the middle to kind of protect everything. And oh my goodness, look at this. Unbelievable attention to detail right here. Grayskull Tower gets its own box. Additional accessories get their own box. We got the Snake Tower right there. Looking beautiful. Oh my goodness. This is, you gotta have a lot of room to put this bad boy together, no doubt. You got some of the monorail systems right here. Whoa, we're losing stuff. Empty cardboard box. Oh, here's an all-timer. 
Gray Skull Moat Monster. There's old Modi. We'll get him shown real good as well. Another cardboard box. And then you get the central tower, the big heavy one right here in the box. So there is everything we get. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this offline. I'm going to build Eternia, and we'll be back dissecting the whole thing. <laughs> some of the goodies inside of Eternia here as we do an Eternia overview and we got to take a look at Modi. We got to take a look at the comic book and it does say Battlefield Eternia right there. Much like Battlefield Earth with John Travolta, just a little bit different is what I've been told. Haven't seen that movie, uh, but that's what they tell me. But it of course is a Masters Universe mini comic. We're getting used to these with everything that we get from the universe. Of course, this one a little bit thicker than the other ones. Makes a little sense. It should be a little thicker. We paid up for Eternia. Give us a deeper story. So we do get a nice comic book with the set as well. And then we got one guy that stole our heart and never let go like a young Rio. We got Modi. How about this? And he comes in his own little box. Now this was packed in with Eternia where we mentioned earlier King Grayskull. Shipped and packed separately. So the yin and yang of Eternia, I guess. But Modi looking really good here. A little bubble window in the front. In case you need an autograph from him, of course. You gotta say powers of gray skull moat monster small critter big appetite very cool packaging looking oh so friendly over there hiding out in the old lagoon taking a little rest at the top jibber jabber on the bottom and then on the back meeting his little dragon friends i think we got those wasn't that with uh he-man uh and battle cat was it a two pack at target exclusive like the battlefield pack i believe that's where that one ended up coming from if I am not mistaken, but I'm going to try to get him out of the box here now. And I'm going to try to do this without destroying the box. That's always a good idea, I do feel, but I don't know if I can do it. Uh, let's see here. It's, it's a rough one. There you go. You got to be gentle. This is in there. There's tape, of course, but there's also, it's kind of lipped in there. And if you're not careful, if you're not patient... You could rip those tabs out, so be very gentle opening this because obviously you want to keep a hold of this package here with Eternia. That's my pro tip recommendation out there. Keep anything and everything that comes with Eternia. And he does come right in here. Look at that, looking good. But of course, he's locked in with twist ties. Why wouldn't he be? And I'm going to unlock him from those twist ties. Oh my gosh, and he's even locked in at the feet. Very tight feet, of course. There's one. And then there's two. Are we good to go? Modi, are you ready to come out and play? There we go. We're ready to come out and play. And like I said, I'm holding on to this packaging. Going to stick this off to the side, of course. But now we got old Modi. And what does Modi bring to the table? Well, a little bit more than I thought he would. So we got articulation on Modi as arms do go up. They go up and down, side to side, up and down, side to side. Articulation a little side to side at the waist, a little bit up and down, not a ton right there. He does got a hinged jaw, the mouth does open, big old mouth there of course. Back legs also move, you do got tail articulation, so he's got plenty of articulation for being a little guy. He even comes with two uh, holes in his feet for peg stands. Will he fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand? Well what do you know, fits perfectly on a ringside stand if you do need him for a stand, I don't know why you would. But if he did, he could be on there. Nice purple colors on him. He's got that big spine like a, a lizard or a dinosaur on the back. Two big old red eyes. Of course, circles going on looking really nice. And the big wide mouth. Nice clean teeth. Big pink on the inside there. He can fit all kinds of stuff. He's ready to eat anything and everything. It does say 2023 Mattel made in China. There you go. So him, Modi, looking pretty spectacular, if I don't say so myself. A fun little creature to put into, of course, your Eternia. All right, here we go, diving into the tower. I got King Grayskull at the top. Look at that. There's the old monorail going through. Now I did grab a Masterverse He-Man here to put with it so you can kind of see the sizing. Not absolutely terrible, I don't think. I mean, it's, it's close enough to be dangerous. Got that there, of course. You can let it 
go through. Obviously a little bit tall for that, but you can kind of make that work. And there you go, a little jail action. You got the bridge, a little moat. I'll fill this all full of water, it'll be great. Look at that, you got weapons sculpted in there. Oh, fallen friends, fallen friends. They should have a big skeleton in there. You can see He-Man in front door there looking, guarding the place. That big old cat's mouth, look at those white teeth. Keeping track of them teeth, going to the dentist on a regular basis. Got those great eyes there, look like a marble almost. Looking very nice, and I guess it kind of feels like a marble too. Plastic throughout. And you got a classic He-Man at the top I put up there. Looking pretty cool, got the flags. Got this bad boy here. Now this can be removed. You could put this elsewhere if you really wanted to. You got that, all the decals on the top. Looking good. You got the little weapons room in here. If I can get around this thing. There we go. You can see all the weapons room in there. Store all that kind of stuff. You can take those off and use them with your characters if you want to. You got all kinds of stuff. You got this little chair. Raise it up like an elevator. Choose your own adventure. And you got a little commander's chair here as well. And then you move that robot. Hard to get in here, but you move that robot, you can move the chair and vice versa all over the place. Got little stickers, got a little computer readout, all the usual kind of stuff. Down to the bottom, you can see the gate to get in through the front. All kinds of storage room there. You got a bridge that goes to the back. Right here, you got the back door there. Cut your way through. Trap door on the front. You got that monorail system throughout, looking very, very nice. And of course, you got the monorail. Now you can only connect one at a time. Let's see, can I get it? There we go, and we're off. So it's just gonna work its way through and all around. As you can see, slow and steady wins the race. You can collect different stuff there. And there it goes, all the way around one time, looking good. Then you get the snake's head, snake mouth opens up. How about that? You got the little puppeteer down here. It's like a, a young Jim Henson. You can puppeteer this thing, control the snake head, do whatever you want through the bottom. Very, very nice, and of course, uh, Snake Mountain next to here, I got Grayskull as well. I was originally thinking about using the Classics version. Unfortunately, they're just way too big against Eternia. Eternia's big. I don't know. It just depends how you like your scale, what kind of room you got, things like that, I guess is really what it comes down to. But you can kind of see. They feel the same kind of plastic quality. is about the same if you've had Snake Mountain or Grayskull. Very similar as I'm blocking the tram there. Everybody loves a monorail, especially uh, the Simpsons, as we do now. But we can kind of see some of the stuff going around it. The big poster. A lot going on in here. Coming into the front here. Straight on through the front. Looking nice. It's a wild, wild scene. Wild scene with Eternia. As you can see, we got another vehicle here. You can mix them up. Change them around. Do whatever you want to do. Got a man flying through in this one. Got a few different options for the monorail, however you want to do it. You just connect that box to the top, easily connects in, and you're off to all the monorail goodness. There's the three cars that go in to the monorail system. You can stand a character here and then hit the old trap door. Bam, see you later. Now you got the cannon that goes at the top of Eternia, as you can see right here, there's a little silver on the side. Hit that and bam, firing off. <laughs> Big time missiles, that brings you back to the 80s. Danger, put an eye out with that bad boy. But you do have that that sits on the top or sits really wherever you want to put it there. And then of course you get the bottom of Snake Mountain in here, that's that puppeteering stuff I was talking about. Move that around back and forth. Nice little details throughout on here as well. A little skeleton, that guy had a, a tough fate, of course, right there. And then you got kind of the stone around the front of Snake Mountain with the snake that wraps all the way through. Looking pretty nice. Trying to give as many views as I can. We got classic filmations, he man. You got some of these flags going on. Looking nice. Got three of those. 
A lot going on. Sticker work, of course. That was the bane of my existence. I tried to get my dad over. He would have no part of it. No part of it. He's moved past stickers, that's for sure. I can put stickers on this tram. That's the connector all three pieces go into. And you got those claws and those hands looking nice. You got that griffin I was talking about. Pull this off. And bam, you got a little spider web underneath there. Oh, the dangers of Eternia. You got a lot of weapons, a lot of all kinds of stuff going on here. Big old face there. Looking nice. You can get through there. There's another kind of front view. Gray skull in the background. Snake Mountain in the background. Truly a massive, massive playset. No doubt it is massive. I should mention there is leftover stickers. There is master stickers all over here. So you can use those wherever you see fit or not use them at all. The set also did come with these hand attachments, so you could put characters on the monorail if you wanted to. Oh, about four of those, I think, is what it came with. So if you need to do that, you can easily do that as well. All right, here we are. I got Eternia built with the help of my wife. Thankfully, Angie uh, gave me the little assist, put it together. Of course, stickers took a long time. I mean, it took about an hour, I think, for the two of us to put it together, connect everything, get everything going the way it needed to go. Gray skull moving out of the side here. Uh, but you guys can see everything Attorney promised, it is here. And you can see some of the figures in here, scaling wise, classics, origins, uh, King Gray skull, of course. And then we've got some Masterverse figures right here. So you can kind of see how these guys scale against there. They're all not too bad. I think it all works pretty good. You do got a little drawbridge action with that griffin there, looking good. This one comes off, she's a little spider underneath. We can do that. Uh, but a lot of stuff going on, a lot of playability features. I'll do a little walkthrough here, but I will say it took a while to put together. Uh, you got to go slow, got to be careful with something like this, as there's really no do-overs on an expensive piece like this. We know how that does go, so take your time when you're building this. Uh, did it live up to expectations? I would say it did. Uh, it's a big, big piece, I and mean, there's a lot going on to it. Is it Masters Universe Classic Snake Mountain level? That's to be decided. I still think that is the Holy Grail as of right now, but you're looking at a totally different totally different uh, yin and yang. Yes, both Masters Universe, but some differences between those two, uh, no doubt about it. The monorail went together pretty easy. I was thinking that'd be pretty hard. It wasn't as hard as it does seem. It's just uh, making sure your A's and B's get connected together. Uh, but all in all, it does look good. It does feel good. It is big. I'm going to have to move it around, get it just right on this table. I will do a video in the future. Like I said, once I get this mat down, once I get everything built, once I get the world built, we'll be back talking all of that on the channel here. But Eternia, oh my goodness, it was a big, big one and it was a big, long wait. And it was worth the wait. It's fun to have this. I feel for the people with the damaged boxes. I definitely feel for people with broken pieces, if that is a possibility. Luckily for me, everything went together fairly smooth, all things considered. It's just a big, big piece, and I'm still drinking it in like a young Chris Jericho uh, out there, trying to figure out exactly where I'm going to put everything. But man, oh man, it's a big one. There's no doubt about it. So well, I'm curious, though, what are your guys' thoughts? How did you make out with your Eternia? Are you regretting it? Are you happy you got it? Are you just uh, very nervous about putting this thing together? Let me know your thoughts on Eternia in the comments down below. Of course, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and then some. And of course, don't forget about Patreon for early access to everything on this channel and my other YouTube channel. Check that out. Support the channel. You can also support the channel at pressandtees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Eternia, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.